Hi there, everybody. Uh, glad to be here with you. The end of the week almost. Overstimulated and underslept is what I am. I'm calling it the moot marathon. In any case, I have three things to talk to you about. Uh, uh, in kind of end of the week reflection. The first is, uh, honest to goodness, your enthusiasm over the images were just very, uh, they were great, you know, uh, they were moving a number of them, provocative, evocative. Uh, I really, uh, I really enjoyed them and I know a number of people that I've talked to have. Um, you know, you put all those images together and we're going to have an image commons which, which along with your uh, with your uh, dialogue. It's a very rich resource. And so we're going to try and find a way of, of pre preserving those in perpetuity. But I just wanted to extend my appreciation. Uh, the second thing I want to talk to you about is um, the module one discussion. Um, it's pretty clear that the resources we provided for Paul Andy and MLP were a little thin. We knew that. But the objective to kind of at least introduce the ideas, even though in sparse way, uh, would provoke discussion and conversation. And it did. And a number of you wondered whether or not this had any real relevance uh, uh, in, uh, in a way that, you know, could be applied to the themes of this course. In any case, um, I got pretty excited with the way some of you took it up and actually uh, took on the invitation to apply it to your context. Um, and, uh, you know, you did the, the mapping, you considered uh, what the factors and actors and powers were that kind of flowed out of that. Uh, and um, you indicated what you thought was supporting and thwarting uh, real change in your context. Uh, some of them were absolutely outstanding, though. And if I could wave a wand, which I am now doing, uh, I would get you to go uh, to um, uh, uh, Lazarus, uh, Lazarus Angelou from Greece and Calais Wright from the Northern Boreal Forest in Canada. Uh, and both of them just absolutely were brilliant, the way they illustrated the application of MLP as a tool uh, for coherently sketching out the context within which uh, they were considering change. And I'd like you to really go and read them. Uh, uh, they're instructive, and they're going to help you kind of think more about this in the modules ahead because you're going to be asked to do this again. So uh, we'll put up, uh, I'll put up an announcement and say, uh, put their names out so you can find them and uh, go read them. And there's another person I want you to go read, uh, but it's in the reflection exercise. And this is uh, Inca Santala's post in one graphic and one paragraph, uh, you know, she provides us with a lucid, uh, a lucid uh, and clear uh, depiction of the landscape and system uh, regime level and, and niche level in the Puerto Rican case uh, that you all reviewed. Uh, you know, and I was thinking about that and you know, if I were an organizer on that island, I would try and help people put together a map uh, themselves, you know, with, with, with guidance. Uh, I would uh, uh, facilitate them uh, exploring the implications. Uh, I would, uh, uh, you know, kind of assist them as they kind of figured out what the priorities were and, 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 and then set out the steps to design a strategy. Uh, you know, I think that it's also important, you know, as a longtime practitioner to understand that some of these tools that uh, one may think about from more academic point of view as just analytical tools. They're also pedagogical and organizing tools. And so, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, the third thing I want to spend a minute on is how I see people feeling their way through this course. You know, uh, First, there's a variety of experts weighing in, uh, probing, informing, sometimes expiring, uh, not expiring. <laughs> <laughs> inspiring. A second among us uh, uh, are many explosives material for the first time. Uh, you know, maybe a bit intimidating at times. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, third, we're from so many diverse sectors and backgrounds, some close to over 30 countries last count on every continent. 
And, and some of us are experts and some of us are neophytes. Some of us never heard about Carl Polanyi. Uh, you know, so we just need to keep this context of who we are, although generally explicated just now by me, um, it's important because it'll guide us and shape the way we communicate with each other. And that's why I'm saying all this. Uh, I really want us uh, to understand that we're peers in this space, but we're coming from very different places and spaces, uh, geographies, cultures, races, genders. And, and when we're sharing, uh, uh, sure, let's do it with passion uh, and as clearly as we can, and, uh, but also with a strong measure of, of humility. Um, and, um, uh, and let's be curious with each other. Um, Let's question each other, let's encourage each other uh, to share what we are not sure of and to utter our questions out loud. And for those of us that can help share responses or enter into dialogue around that and can find the time, let's do so. Uh, we really nourish, need to nourish this place as a welcoming and safe place for saying what we need to say, whatever our backgrounds. So let's be challenging, uh, but not judgmental. And that's the kind of attitude, really, that we need to take into uh, the kind of work it takes to build the groups, the coalitions, the organizations, the networks uh, that are going to uh, be able to potentially affect the kinds of changes we need to. Now, last three things, things I'm asking for you uh, to do for us. First, if you haven't introduced yourselves, uh, please do so. It's in the interest of everybody and certainly us as facilitators. Uh, second, do the pre-survey. We want to be able to reflect who we are uh, to each other, but we also want to be able to leverage a profile of this MOOC uh, because we got to secure resources in the future. Uh, we got to be able to find a bit of money, uh, which we haven't had for the last three years. And, and we need some younger people uh, to get involved and from different areas and countries so that, uh, that we can expand this effort in a meaningful way. Uh, and third, there's a module evaluation, every module, and there's one on module one. So uh, we've done our best to get to this point. Now we need your help just to learn as much as we can from what goes uh, on in this module with all of you, and you're the only ones that can tell us. So. Thanks a lot. Uh, I'll see you this next week. And uh, yeah, enjoy the ending of your week. Okay, all the best. Bye.